I want to talk about our bull for a minute. There's been some confusion a little bit uh, that he's not a purebred bull. And if you look at any breed when it's created, it's created from a combination of different breeds. So technically starting out, no breed is a pure breed. But my understanding is they take a cross and then they cross it back on itself until they get, I believe, seven eighths percentage of the original breed. He is actually a American Simmental. The traditional Simmental that I believe are from Switzerland, they look more like this one over here, that red and white heifer. The white blaze on his face has confused a lot of people. Um, American Simmental, they had, they took the original Simmental that looked like her, colored like her, and I believe they came over in 72 when the first bloodline came to the United States. And in the early 90s, late 80s, they started taking Angus and crossing them to get the pole genetic, uh, started crossing it onto the Simmental. They ended up with a pure red and a pure black, and then a black with a white blaze. He's not really looking at us too much, he's too busy eating. So when you look at him, he is black, and most people automatically assume that he's an Angus, and then the white blaze on his face well, he's got to be a cross with a Hereford. Well, he's not. He's He is registered. Registered purebred American Simmental. It's a pretty new breed. Early 90s. Curly. Back over me. Hey, little Curly. What do you think? Yeah. We've been really impressed with this calf so far. We've got, as you can see, crossbred cows which I like that. We've had different registered breeds and we've always had issues just like any bloodline that is bred that close, you know, you're gonna have issues. So when you introduce crossbred like this, she's Hereford Charlotte Cross. She ended up with this calf off of the Simmental. This one here is a Pins Gear. She's had a solid red and a solid black. These two are full sisters, last year's and this year's. This little man here came from this red, I'm just gonna call her a Hereford. She's not the traditional Hereford with the uh, white down her shoulders. So there could be a little something else in there, but we just call her the Hereford or the red cow. But she had this little bull who's colored like a black Hereford. <clears throat> and then I really wish I knew exactly what this cow is. I do believe she's got some longhorn in her. But other than that, I'm not sure. Mama. This is Longhorn's first calf, this heifer right here. And then this is this year's. I really like this heifer. Not sure how this one's going to turn out. She's a little finer bone. I think she's still going to make a nice cow. We'll just see. So I do like taking the crossbred cows and then putting them on a purebred bull. Hello, Curly. That way you kind of retain more of the heterosis because you're getting two breeds. Like with this one, you've got Hereford and Charlet. So there's two. And then you're putting the American Simmental on there. So that's three breeds that are crossed in. And you end up with something that looks like that. Everybody's lost a little bit of weight. 
for the winter. They're still not looking too bad. There's a lot of hair on them. This girl's got a pretty face. What do you think, little curly? Yeah. This is the Hereford Cows this year bull. Future steer. He is banded. They just haven't dropped yet. I'm liking this heifer here. Anxious to see what kind of cow she's going to make. I really like how she looks. One thing I've liked about the American Simmental is it puts a little bit of dewlap on them and a little bit of ear. Where if you were an Angus cross, they're real tight. Their sheath, which he's got a really tight sheath. We haven't really had an issue. But even that on the heifers, the navel, they got a little bit of navel, a little bit of dewlap, and a little bit of ear. So it's not full blown <clears throat> like Brahmin cross. A little more, a little less than a beef master. But I like a little bit on them. I'm not a real big fan of the tightness of the Angus. Uh, we've raised Brahmin. <clears throat> So I really like some ear and some skin on them. So, so far I've been happy with this. This is our first American Simmental, or first Simmental period. We've had Hereford Bulls, we've had Brahmin, Sangatrudis. We raised registered Sangatrudis, we've raised registered Brahmin, Red Brahmin. And then we had a commercial set of crossbred cows on Hereford bulls, Brangus bulls, and Sangatrudis bulls. So we've had a little bit of everything, but we had never had a Simmental. And I, had, I didn't even know there was an American Simmental until I found him. And I was like, wow, I kind of like this. So we got him and tried him out. And like I said, I've been happy. I'm liking the calves. Gentle. Hadn't had any craziness. All of them, the, the older ones you can pet. These, these young ones, it takes them a little time. Once they get bigger than you, they get a little more confidence. The only cow out here, including the bull, the only one we can't pet is that red cow. And she's been that way since we got her and we got all the cows when they were five, six months old heifers. <clears throat> 